Hi everybody, my name is Jakub and I would like to give you a tiny class today. Uh, everything what we are doing here is based on a Polish-Israeli project uh, which is inspired by the creation of Stanisław Lem, which I truly uh, encourage you to find out so much about this uh, bright man, what he wrote and what he was thinking and what he was like uh, predicting about the future. So, why don't we start with a small warm-up at the beginning. We can go with the arms up. We can take huge inhale, give your lungs as much breath as they can take and go down to your pleas and go again. Inhale and exhale. Really ground your feet and think about your, rather than your hands or your arms, think about your shoulder blades pulling you up towards the ceiling and going down. And again, go up, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. And be careful, we go inhale, and this time our head is going down, we allow gravity to do its thing, and our hips, our tailbone is going as high as it can. Think about like, I don't know, the, the idea of jumping or falling, constantly falling down, falling down towards the floor from a huge, huge mountain. Here you can really relax your, uh, your neck, your head, allow it to, to sing. You can also change your weight from forward to backwards from side to side. You can also take your time to find your own comfortable position. Don't rush. If you have some time right now, if you find some freedom in it, you can also think about your thoughts or think about your thoughts, actually realize what you are thinking about. Don't judge it, don't be judgmental. Just realize what it is, say goodbye, and stay focused with this, what's happening now. You can bend your knees and slightly going up, 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 up. And take again, inhale, and exhale, go plie. Try to feel your body within the air. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and we go again. Our hips, our tailbone is going high, high, high up, and our head is going as low as it can be. Stretch it from both sides. Think about the counter thing. Try to don't, don't, don't stop to move. Move your back all the time. Shift your weight. Be alive. Take your left leg back. And again, think about your head going closer and closer to your right foot. Stretch it both directions, from hip up and from your head down. Go to the front, shift your weight. Go to the back. And front again. This time, try to keep your weight on your right leg and try to put your left foot, your left heel on the ground without changing your weight, without taking your weight back. That's right. And you can take your left foot back and take your right foot back. And again, think about your head pulling you towards the foot. Think about your hips pulling you away. Don't stand still. Try to be alive. Try to move. Try to swim constantly. Feel the energy going through the body. And again, swap your weight. Go forward and be backwards. 
and again. And as we did before, try to put your right heel this time on the floor, but don't swap your weight. Don't shift your weight, stay where you are. And take two feet together, bend your knees, and slowly, slowly, with lots of pleasure in your body, go higher, higher, higher. Inhale, exhale, go plie. And again, inhale, this time, put your hands on your chest, take two deep breaths, Let's take one extra. You can notice where's your weight. And take your arms far away from each other. Don't only think about pulling your, uh, your hands away from each other, but also think about your shoulder blades going even further. If you think that this is your maximum, go even more, go even more. Stretch it far away. Like you would like to grab both sides of the room that is huge, like a corridor. And now take your right elbow over the left elbow and twist. Find some circle of movement in it to stretch your back. While you are doing this, don't forget about breathing. If you have some space around you, you can also move in space. And let's go the other way. I always had like such a huge problems with my back because it was getting tensed so quickly and I love this exercise because of that because it really it stretches everything was between the shoulder blades okay let it go and let's go the other side left elbow over the right one twist and same thing And the other way. Very nice. Stretch it away. That's right. Take your hands together, put it under your, your chin. Pull it a bit back. Put your hands behind your head. Take it down. Stay alive. To the left side. And to the right side. Again, find some circle of movement in your head right now. But Feel lots of freedom. Try to find some space between your shoulders and your head. So don't squeeze it close to your body, rather go far away. Take all the body parts and try to send them as far as you can. If any of you ever had a counter technique class, then you know what I'm talking about. Very nice. Now, try to think about it because the whole thing, actually the whole phrase we will learn, we'll, I'll teach you today, it's really much based on the, uh, on the conflict between this what, what science and future brings and this very human side, between something very robotic and uh, industrial and something very much human, as I said. So the all qualities will be actually uh, jumping from one to another. So think about your body as a kind of metal structure 
which slowly melts down under the pressure of high temperature. You can think or you can imagine how it's getting red and slowly starts to melt. You can take it by part by part. You don't need to think about it as a body, as a whole thing. You can allow it melt it part by part. And when you'll be very close to the floor, you can build it again. Very strong, very stable construction that is melting down. You can think about your joints. You can think about your bones. That actually can be a good image, that your bones are slowly melting. Not breaking, but melting. And try to, a few times, try to rebuild the construction very strong and stable and melt it down. You can move through the space a bit if you have some around you. I'm seriously thinking about the piece of metal that is getting really red. There's lots of qualities also that are, um, they are happening like in between these two things, like lots of tension. To something very floaty. From something very hard, very stable, unmoving, to something very moving, to something softly moving. While we are doing this, if you feel a bit more comfortable with an idea of melting metal, you can speed it up a bit. Build and destroy. Maybe while you're melting your body, you can take it somewhere else to rebuild it. Of course, it's very easy to find this image of something very stable when we spread our body through the space, when we think about something huge. But why don't we think about something smaller, something more internal that can melt as well? Maybe we can think about something very small, something very compact that is super strong and melts away. I hope guys you're doing great. This is the qualities actually our phrase will be based on. So if you want, just take a bit more time 
enjoy it, find lots of pleasure in it because this is what movement should be about, right? So let's take a quick break, quick sip of water and let's move to the race. Okay guys, let's go to the phrase. It will be quite robotic. We'll try to uh, think about qualities that are very strong, that are very compact, that are very straight to the point, but we will break it through the very human, very breathly movement. So, we sound like this. We are on tiny plie. Our left hand is going, going forward and we swap like we would like to punch someone in the chin. It happens, it's our chin, but be careful with that. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself. So we go BAM! Our feet, from this very natural parallel position, they are going to the turn down position. So we do it as one thing. BAM! Then our head is going away and it's coming back. It's like BOOM! Back. It's like delayed reaction. Normally when we would punch someone, it would go right away. Here we go. BAM! BOOM! And reverse. Now, someone is pushing our, our, um, our chest part to the side and we go BAM! Side and we are coming back again. So twice we have actually the same thing. We go BOOM! Cup! Come back! BAM! Come back! Now we change twice. One, two, down. Okay, let's start again from the top. Ooh. And sup, boom, ho, down, ho, clack, clack, down. So, try again. And clack. Think about this movement as something very sharp. Sorry for taking a break. Don't think about as something, don't, don't think about things that are happening in between. Think about the position you want to get to. So we go, fa. Two, tack, boo, tack, 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 ho. Now, our hands, this is what we were doing actually at the very beginning of the class. They are going high, but they are not going high only from our hands or from our elbows. They are going high from our shoulder blades. So when arms are going up, the shoulder blades are really going down. They're like pulling the whole body up. But our tailbone is taking us towards the floor. Everything what's in between can find some freedom, can find some space. And like we would like to rescue our body and we're coming back here. Okay? So after pam pam sa we go boo. We have tiny thing here. Va. 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 Rescue yourself. Boop. Come back. Now we go from our right side. We Open it up again. We start from the shoulder blades. We go to the side. We grab, pull back. We grab, pull back. We grab, pull back. We grab, pull back. We can do it a few more times only to explore this thing. There is something very, uh, uh, how do you call it? It's, it's like a trance. Like you are constantly doing the same thing. Like you feel you can do it for the whole day. We swap the weight. You can allow your head to delay. To come a bit later. And we do it four times. One. Two. Three. Watch out. Four. We take it here. Ooh, I'm a bit dizzy. Okay, let's try again from the beginning. We go. And clap. Hop. Back. Boom. Back. Tuck. Tuck. Down. Ooh. Yes. 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 Back. Whoa. Grab. Take it back. Grab. Take it back. Grab. Take it back. And this is our last time. Bam! Now we are going down to the fourth position. Bah. Our hands are sliding down like we would hold something. We really don't want to drop it. So we go boom 
And again, we don't think about the transition. We think about going straight to the position we want to be. Bam! Now we rotate our hands from that position, including elbows and shoulders here, and our head goes up. And this happens at the same time. So from here we go, boom, boom, and pushing it up. Okay, let's try again from this board. And let's take the last one. Let's say this is the third one, fourth one. Boom, clack, clack. Let's try again the same thing. Four times, one, two, three, four, clack, clack. Push it up. That's right. Let's try again from the beginning and we'll continue. Boom, boom, tack, tack, down. Think about your tailbone taking you down and shoulder blades taking you up. Come back. Open, slide, grab. Smooth. Nice. And the last one, boom. Clack, clack, go up. Now, we are coming back to the fourth position and we are going one, two. So we have twice the same position, one on the left side, one on the right side. We go boom, boom. And from here, we take our, our right leg behind. We take our head this way. It's like almost a jazzy position. Just we want to again stretch our arms and our tailbone far away from each other and grab your left leg. Take it here and push it back. Oh yeah. Let's try again from, uh, we're here. Bam, bam, up, sick, sick. Here, as you can see, I'm a bit holding this, uh, almost like a Claudio divine position when I'm like Michelangelo, you know, look, having uh, our arms are going like behind the head, behind the head. And again, we are going straight to the point. And from here, take it down. Boom. Take it as far as you can. I already feel my tie. Boom. Push it back. Take it from the back, your right arm. Go as far as you can. Find as much, as much space in between as you can. And take it here. Okay, let's try from the beginning till here. Ooh. And. Sa. Boom. Boom. Ta ta ha. Sha. Sa. Three. Last one. it doesn't matter even if you lose your balance just push it as far as you can rescue it and take it from here far away when I grab the lamp and coming back to this position now the very last thing actually we are doing they're like tiny steps just think about your uh, your torso being completely blocked it stays here it doesn't move so much but your feet they're going they, they swap they shift the weight from right to left, from right, left to right. So we go, boom, 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 boom. Nothing moves here. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go one, eight more, and we add arms. Here you can do actually what you feel like. You can go far away. You can keep it close. I, I really like to go on my body. I don't know why. But I go one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight. And this is where we'll finish our freight. Let's see again, last two eight. We go, boom, hop, catch, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Well done, guys. Let's try again from the beginning, the whole thing. That's right. How did it go? I hope you can enjoy it. Remember one thing, everything that I'm giving you right now, it's way more about uh, giving the direction. But whatever, what, doesn't matter what kind of love for movement you have, apply it here, bring it here. Try to, try to, you know, bring this who you are, bring this what you do, bring this what you love into this phrase. Don't think it needs to be exactly like this. So let's try. One more time. Okay guys, if you want to try it again, just, you know, take the video back, go on and on and on. You can play your favorite song, your favorite music, and just keep going, keep doing this. I hope you liked it and uh, hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>